If you've ever strolled through an older city neighborhood and looked up at the side of an apartment building, chances are you've seen one. A zigzagging staircase clinging to the brick, usually made of metal and showing signs of age. Fire escapes. They're everywhere in older urban areas. And while they might blend into the architecture today, they have a fascinating story and a very deliberate design. But why are these structures almost always made of metal? What makes metal such a reliable choice for something meant to be used in life or death situations? Stick around as we uncover the real reason behind the metal fire escape right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a quick look at what fire escapes actually are. In the simplest terms, a fire escape is a secondary exit route, usually attached to the outside of a building, meant to be used in emergencies, especially fires. When the main stairwell or hallway becomes unsafe or blocked by flames or smoke, residents or workers can escape through the window onto a platform, then make their way down a metal staircase to safety. The design might seem simple today, but fire escapes were once a cutting-edge solution to a very real problem – urban fires. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, cities were growing fast. Buildings were taller, populations were denser, and fire codes were still in their infancy. Unfortunately, that meant fires were not only more likely, they were often more deadly. Tragic events like the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire of 1911 in New York City, where 146 workers lost their lives, brought national attention to the need for better fire safety. That single event led to sweeping changes in building codes, and fire escapes quickly became a required feature in many cities. But why metal? Why not wood or concrete or some other material? The answer has a lot to do with cost, strength, weight, and performance under stress, especially the kind of stress that happens in emergencies. First, metal is incredibly strong for its weight. Fire escapes need to support people quickly exiting a building, sometimes all at once. Steel and iron, which are the most commonly used metals for fire escapes, offer a great strength-to-weight ratio. That means you can build something that's both sturdy and relatively lightweight, a key factor when attaching it to the outside of a building. Wood, while commonly used in interior staircases, wasn't a practical choice for outdoor fire escapes. It's much more vulnerable to fire, rot, moisture, insects, and long-term wear. And when people's lives are on the line, you don't want their emergency exit to be flammable or structurally unsound. Concrete, on the other hand, is fire-resistant and strong, but it's also heavy, bulky, and hard to mold into the kinds of stairs and platforms needed for a quick, efficient escape. Installing a concrete structure onto the exterior of a building, especially an older one, would require serious reinforcement and support, something that wasn't practical for retrofitting existing buildings in the 1900s and 1910s. Metal provided a perfect middle ground. It's fire-resistant, durable, and relatively easy to work with. It can be prefabricated, bolted or welded in place, and designed to fit the exterior of buildings with minimal disruption. Cast iron and steel in particular were widely available and affordable during the industrial age when most urban fire escapes were first installed. Another reason metal fire escapes caught on was maintenance and longevity. With a bit of care, paint, inspections, rust protection, a metal fire escape can last for decades. Even when exposed to harsh weather, metal holds up better than wood and is easier to repair or reinforce than concrete. In colder climates, metal also handles freeze-thaw cycles relatively well. It may expand and contract with the seasons, but it won't crack and crumble like concrete or splinter like wood. 
That durability made it ideal for city infrastructure that needed to stand up to snow, rain, heat, and time. From a design perspective, metal also allowed for more compact, efficient solutions. Spiral staircases, ladders, folding steps, and grates were all easier to create in metal than in other materials. That meant fire escapes could be tucked into alleys, between buildings, or on narrow exterior walls without taking up much space, which was essential in crowded cities. But metal isn't just about practicality, it's also about reaction to fire. In a fire emergency, every second counts. Unlike wood, metal doesn't burn. While it can weaken under extremely high temperatures, properly designed metal structures can maintain their integrity long enough to allow for evacuation. That's a huge advantage when lives are on the line. Of course, metal fire escapes aren't perfect. Over time, if not properly maintained, they can rust, become unstable or fail inspections. That's why modern buildings often include internal fire stairs that are fully enclosed and protected from the elements. But many older buildings still rely on those external metal fire escapes as a backup. And in many cities, they remain an iconic part of the urban landscape. In fact, in some places, fire escapes have become part of the architecture and even culture of a city. They appear in movies, on postcards and in photography. Think of characters in romantic comedies meeting on a fire escape, or musicians playing out their window to neighbors below. They're practical, yes, but they've also become symbolic. Even though building codes have evolved and modern fire safety is far more advanced than it was a century ago, metal fire escapes still represent safety escape, and ingenuity. They're a visual reminder of how cities adapted to protect people in an age when fire was a constant threat. At the end of the day, the reason fire escapes are often made of metal comes down to a simple idea. When everything else fails, they can still get you out safely. It's not glamorous, but it works. And sometimes that's what matters most. So the next time you walk past one of those old staircases bolted to the side of a building, take a moment to appreciate the engineering behind it. That rough, rusted metal isn't just decoration. It's a testament to smart, practical design forged from tragedy, history, and the simple human instinct to survive. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.